So we're out here in the woods camping, and in today's video, we're gonna install and test a 200 watt solar panel from EBL on my pop-up camper. Well, finally, after two days of gloomy overcast weather, the sun is finally coming out, and we finally get to put this solar panel to the test. So recently we got another 12 volt refrigerator that is dual zone. And sometimes I like to run this smaller zone in freezer mode. However, the negative thing about running that thing in freezer mode, it draws a lot more power off my lithium batteries, which is why we are installing a second 200 watts of portable power from EBL and uh, making a total of 650 watts on my pop-up camper, which is pretty cool. So back in my shop at home, I installed a Victron 7515 MPPT solar charge controller into my electrical system. And frankly, I am running out of space underneath my dinette. Uh, I found a piece of plywood that I can kind of wedge in the back corner that accepted the uh, charge controller and a resetting fuse. And so I mounted that in and installed that back in my house. Now you want to make sure that your solar charge controller is sized to the amount of watts or panels that you're using. Now I like to use the Victron uh, solar controllers because the Victron app, um, everything is on my phone. I can see the watts coming in. Um, and it's pretty cool to measure how well the uh, solar panel is doing. So you'll notice down here, I've got uh, two different connections and I color coded those because um, one of the charge controllers is a 7510 for the 100 watt panel I own. And the other one is a 7515 for the new 200 watt panel. And that one's labeled orange. The solar panel is orange, so I went with orange. And then I have uh, 40 to 45 feet for each solar panel, 10 gauge um, pliable wire. Highly recommend this. I'll have all the links to all the parts that I use down in the description. After I installed the charge controllers, I wired it up and connected the red to the, the positive bus bar and the black to the negative on my camper. Once you get power, this is a good time to grab your iPhone and download the Victron Connect app. Uh, once that's downloaded, you'll want to connect it to the Bluetooth charge controller. And now that we're at camp, it's time to test out this 200 watt portable solar panel. It's currently 10 a.m. here in the morning. Uh, let's pull up our app and actually see what we're at. So currently we're getting 38 watts. There's a little bit of shadowing right there coming over from the sun. It's 10 a.m. so the sun's not as high as it should be. Uh, but I'm gonna move that right here and I'm gonna see if we can't get uh, maybe 45, 50, 60 watts and uh, see what that does. Which helps getting these things directly in the sun. Let's try this. Yeah. All right, so I just moved it a little bit further to the left and uh, now we're getting 78 watts, 85 watts. So to me, that's the biggest benefit of a portable solar panel is you can move it out of the shade. You can find the sun as the day progresses. So currently on my pop-up camper, I have 350 watts on the roof. I have the original 100 watt portable solar panel and then I have a new 200 watt portable solar panel. So that's 650 watts total. And currently I'm putting in 116 on the roof, 14 on this little guy and 91 watts are coming in on the new EBL, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's a total of off the top of my head, I don't know, 220, 215 watts, which is pretty good, which is 15.35 amps going into my lithium batteries camping out here in the woods, getting free power from the sun. You can't beat it guys, 151 watts right now, guys, 150, I'm recording it. So I'm not even making this stuff up. You can see on the screen, I'm getting 148 watts out of this one, 146. I'm getting 44 out of that one, 45, and I'm only getting 115 off the roof, 154. You think that it would be double, right? So that's a 100 watt solar panel. This is a 200 watt solar panel. If I'm getting 48, 50, you think you'd get 100. I'm getting 156 watts right now out of this thing. Uh, I've got to sell the wife on buying a second one of these. So I'll have two of these EBLs. So with a total of 400 watts of portable, um, you can go days out here, which is awesome. Highly recommend one of these. Um, I'll have a link down to Amazon where you can pick one up for yourself. And uh, thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, smash that like button and we'll see you in the next video. God, 156 watts. 23, 22 amps going in. Man, we're gonna be fully charged here in like four hours. Amazing.